Hi and welcome to Annalise Maths. Today we're going to be looking at multiplying two digit whole numbers by single and double digit whole numbers and we're going to be looking at the column method. I made a video with the same criteria in but with grid method for those that prefer the grid method. So our objectives for today is multiply two digit whole numbers by a single digit, multiply two digit whole numbers by a double digit, understand their different strategies for multiplying, understand and use the vocabulary of multiplication and understand that multiplication is the same as repeated addition. Some keywords for today, digits, units, tens, all of those are looked at in my place value lesson, so please have a look at that. Multiple, multiply by, times, lots of and doubles. So the most common place where people lose marks in this particular topic are place value errors with written multiplication and um, not understanding multiplication facts and patterns. So the language as far as multiplication goes, the sort of words that we're looking for when we're dealing with multiplication is multiply, times, lots of, groups of, and double is very specific for times by two. So you might be asked to multiply these numbers times these numbers. Someone may have five lots of seven sheep. How many sheep do they have all together? Or five groups of seven sheep. How many sheep do they have all together? So these are the words we're looking for. As far as multiplication goes, this is where we're timesing numbers together. Knowing your times table is really going to help you with this, so it's, it's a good thing to practice. There are a number of methods. Column methods are going to be looked at in this video. I've done another video on grid method for those who prefer that. Uh, there is the lattice method and also repeated addition. So let's have a look at how we do this. So if I had to do 21 times by 7, um, if I'm working with smaller numbers, don't forget repeated addition might be an option. So 21 times 7 is the same as 21 added together 7 times. However, to use the column method to multiply, I would lay my sum out like this. Um, the first thing I would then do is start from the right. So I would do 7 times by 1, which would give me 7. And then 7 times by 2, which would give me 14. I'm going to do one more example of that here. So I'm going to say, let's do 42 times by 6. OK, so I'm going to start from the right. So I'm going to say 6 times by 2. Now, 6 times by 2 is 12. So I'm going to put my 2 down. And I'm going to carry my 1. I've put my 1 here. Doesn't matter where you put it as long as you don't forget about it. Then 6 times by 4. Now 6 times by 4 is 6, 12, 18, 24, plus my 1 is 25. So that gives me 252 as my final answer. So I'm working from the right to the left. Let's have a look at how I would do this with bigger numbers. So if I had 14 times 15, now don't forget, with multiplication, it doesn't matter which way round. 14 times 15, 15 times 14, both the same thing. I'm going to lay mine out as 15 times 14. So I'm going to do the same as what I did the last time. I'm going to start with my units. So I'm going to do my 4 times 5, which gives me 20. So I'm going to put that 0 down and carry the 2. Then I'm going to move on to my tens column. So 4 times by 1 is 4. Add my 2 gives me 6. Once I've done that, I'm now dealing with this one here. So this one here is a 10. So the first thing I'm going to do is put a 0 down on my next line in my units column. Because I'm multiplying by 10, I'm not going to have any 1s in my answer. So I'm going to put a 0. Now, I've seen people before put an X or put um, a dot or leave a space. That's absolutely fine. I pop a 0 down. Then again, I'm going to work from right to left. So 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 1 is 1. Once I've done those, I'm going to add these together to get my final answer of 210. Again, I'm going to do another one so you can see step by step. So this time, let's do 32 times by 12. OK, 
Okay, so I'm going to start with my two. I'm going to start with my units. So two times two is four. Two times three is six. So now I'm completely finished with my two. I've done my two times two and my two times three. I'm going to move on to my one. My one is in the tens column. So the first thing I'm going to do is pop a zero down. One times two is two. One times three is three. And then I'm going to add these together to get my final answer. So four plus zero is four. Six plus two is eight. And three on its own is three. OK, give these a go and see how you get on with these. So pause this and give these a go. OK, let's look at those answers. Hopefully these were the answers that you got. Let's have a look at what that might look like in an exam situation. So each car driver pays Kumar £8 to go to the car boot sale. There are 72 cars at the car boot sale. How much money did, in total do the drivers pay? Pause and give it a go. OK, let's have a look. Hopefully you got 576. Now let's have a look. If I do my 72 times by 8, I've got 8 times 2 is 16. So I'm going to put my 6 down and carry my 1. 8 times 7 is 56. Add my 1 is 57. So 576. Let's look at another exam question. Amir is doing an IT course. His course is for nine months. He pays £86 each month. Amir says the course costs more than £750 in total. Is he correct? So don't forget, we've got is he correct? So I need a yes or a no as my answer. At entry three, you are going to have a tick box with yes or no on your question page. And we are proving this number. We are proving the 750 so I do not need to use that number. So pause and give this a go. OK, let's see. Hopefully you got 774. So let's have a look. So I've got my 86 times by 9. OK, 9 times 6 is 54. I'm going to put my 5 down, my 4 down, sorry, and carry my 5. 9 times 8 is 72 plus my 5 is 77. So 774 and it's a yes because he thinks it's cost more than 750 and yes, 774 is more than. Let's look at another one. Ellery goes on holiday for 14 days. She needs £25 spending money each day. How much does she need in total? Pause and give it a go. OK, let's see. Hopefully you got £350. Let's see. So I'm going to do my 14 times by 25. If you've done your numbers the other way around, it doesn't matter. Don't forget, 14 times 25 is the same as 25 times 14. So 5 times 4 is 20. So I'm going to put my 0 down and carry my 2. 5 times 1 is 5 plus my 2 is 7. So I've done my 5 times 4 and my 5 times 1. So I'm finished with my 5. I'm going to move on to my two because my two is a tens first thing i'm going to do is pop a zero there so i don't put anything in the ones column by accident two times four is eight two times one is two then let's add these together so zero plus zero is zero eight plus seven is fifteen five down carry my one two plus one is three okay one last question let's have a look at a level one example so here's an example of a one mark question at level one. In a factory, the working week is from Monday to Friday. There are 46 working weeks in a working year. Let's see if you can calculate the number of days in a working year. OK, let's see. 46 times five. Hopefully you saw that in a factory, the working week was Monday to Friday. So this told me a working week is five days. There are 46 working weeks in a working year. So to get the number of days in one working year, I would have done my 46 times by my five. 
So in this video, we've looked at double digits multiplied by singles, double digits multiplied by doubles. We've looked at repeated addition and grid method for multiplication, uh, sorry, and column method. Please check out my other video on, on grid method. And we've looked at the different words for multiplication. So best to look at your studies. Don't forget to like and subscribe.